I am so freaking pumped right now. We just got done watching game four of the NBA Finals between the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. A game that the Denver Nuggets won 108 to 95 behind some monster performances, some monster strategy. And there's so much to talk about and break down about this game of the NBA Finals. This game is probably the nail in the coffin of this series. The Denver Nuggets have just proven to be better the better team all series and all season long. A lot of people didn't want to believe what their eyes were telling them, but it's finally time that we all believed. I have been ridiculed and I've been mocked. I have had my basketball intelligence questioned all year because of my faith and belief in this Denver Nuggets team. Everyone tells me that the Nuggets are a bad defensive team. And when I watch them, I don't see a bad defensive team. I see a team that's consistently holding the Miami Heat under 100 points. A team that in the playoffs has been sixth overall in defensive rating. A team that is great on both ends of the basketball court and is an all-time great offense. Potentially the best offense since the 1980s uh, Denver Nuggets teams with Alex English, you're talking about a squad that is so full of talent, that is so deep. I was ridiculed and I was mocked for calling Jamal Murray a superstar, a playoff superstar. But time and time again, he continues to prove that in the biggest moments when you need a guy, Jamal Murray is that guy. Tonight was so impressive for the Nuggets because Nikola Jokic didn't play his best game. Jamal Murray didn't score a ton of points. And they were still able to win the basketball games and play at a super, super high level. And last game, uh, when their role players weren't playing as good, their superstars were able to carry them through. And when you look at a playoff run, a playoff series, all of that is so necessary to have your star players win games and your role players win win other ones. Before we get into it, take a second to subscribe to the channel. We're up over 1,300 subscribers, and uh, I, I actually have been out for two weeks, been dealing with uh, a little bit of health problems, feeling a little better now. We're going to get back on the grind, especially as we head into the end of this NBA final series that I suspect will be over next game and into the offseason. There's a lot to talk about with free agents, with moves. We're going to look at a little more broad basketball topics, all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you subscribe. So let's talk about tonight's game. Tonight, like I said, the Nuggets won 108 to 95. Nikola Jokic, had 23 points, 12 rebounds, 4 assists, and the refs were trying really, really hard to foul Nikola Jokic out of this game by calling some bogus foul calls uh, and trying to give Miami the win. I'm usually not a guy that complains about foul calls, but there were like four calls within a two-minute span. There were a couple of the most egregious calls I've seen in a while, and it sent Nikola Jokic, the best basketball player in the world, to the bench. And they needed guys to step up and come through, and this was... This was probably the best game of Aaron Gordon's entire career. The highest leverage game. He was a plus 29. Do you even understand how impressive that is in an NBA Finals game that you won by 13? That one player had 27 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, was excellent on the defensive end of the court, was 11 of 15 from the field, 3 of 4 from 3, and was a plus 29. This game was dominated by Aaron Gordon. His physicality and and what he provides for this Denver Nuggets team with his cutting, with tonight his three-point shooting, with his defensive ability and his defensive prowess. When you talk about the value of a guy uh, being in the right situation, there's no better example in the entire NBA than Aaron Gordon. He was a solid player in Orlando. Solid player, dunk contest, uh, should have been winner, um, and w was a good basketball player. You put him with Nikola Jokic, Jamal Murray, all the other good players on the Denver Nuggets, and Aaron Gordon is really able to shine and take that step forward. The next guy that I really want to point out, and we'll get we'll get into a couple other guys as well, uh, pause, but uh, Mike Malone. Mike Malone had the balls to say, hey, Michael Porter Jr., Tonight, you don't have it. Last game, he kind of said the same thing. You haven't had it, maybe up to your level that you've been playing all playoffs. We're going to stick with Bruce Brown. And tonight, Bruce Brown gave him 21 points on 8 of 11 shooting, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, including massive, massive dagger shots. He hit, he hit, I think he had like 8 or 10 straight points down the stretch, including a big 3 that just 
absolutely shut the heat out of this game. Bruce Brown was a key to closing this game out with Nikola Jokic, their star on the bench. And they took Michael Porter Jr. out of the game. Michael Porter Jr. should be proud of all he did this season and all, all he did this postseason to help the Denver Nuggets get to the finals. He's lost his shot a little bit. Um, but, you know, tonight was still pretty solid. Had 11 points. It was a plus 13, 4 of 10 from the field. He's lost, His three-point shot's struggling a little right now. But Mike Malone having the courage to say, hey, Michael, you're having an excellent postseason. But we're going to go to Bruce Brown, and he absolutely came through, including Jeff Green actually hitting a big three from the corner late in that basketball game to make a big play. We're also going to talk about Jamal Murray, who's having an unbelievable finals run here. In all four games, he's had over 10 assists. Tonight, he had zero turnovers. He struggled from the field tonight, 5 of 17. It happens. But he found other ways to impact the game. With uh, He had a big three down the stretch, but he was also just setting up the entire offense. When Nikola Jokic went out, they needed Jamal Murray to create, and that's exactly what he did. In the playoffs in the past, we had seen Jamal Murray go to another level with his scoring ability. This year, with his playmaking ability, has been all-time. His all, The all-time playmaking ability of Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray has been a joy to watch. It's been a pleasure to watch this team play basketball. And another thing that I was criticized on, I talked about the Denver Nuggets' depth. I feel like they have great depth. They have a guy named Christian Brown. You might have heard of him. Rookie. Came in last game and it was excellent. Tonight, you know, he only had one point. Didn't play a whole lot. But you look at... Different guys stepping up. This game, it was Bruce Brown. Last game, it was uh, Christian Brown. And then Jeff Green, you know, he's he he only hit one shot tonight, but it was a big three from the corner. There are guys that you can rely on, guys that can step up at moments. Contavious Caldwell Pope makes big shots. He had a big three in the fourth quarter, uh, shot 40% from three on the game, and was a plus 16. All in all, this Denver Nuggets team dominated uh, on both sides of the basketball like they have most of the series except for the fourth quarter of game two. They were up 15 in that game, if you don't remember. The Nuggets have dominated this basketball series. I have a large sum of money on the Denver Nuggets because I'm so confident that this team is going to win. And all in all, you have to be highly impressed from what the Denver Nuggets have showed you. And if you don't believe in this team, it's time to start believing because they're going to be the NBA champions. Nikola Jokic is going to be a finals MVP. All you people that were criticizing him for not being able to get it done in the playoffs. This is what the rest of us were watching that believed in Nikola Jokic. That just believed that if Jamal Murray was healthy and if Michael Porter Jr. was healthy, that this team could make a real run. Mike Malone is a good coach, is a great coach leading his team to the NBA finals. They're playing great on both ends of the court. He holds his players accountable in the huddle after the games. I love the way that he coaches his team. I love the way that he believes in his stars. And I love his rotations. And tonight, we saw on full display what makes the Denver Nuggets so great. Last game, it was all about Jamal Murray and Nikola Jokic in their two-man game and having the best duo in the entire NBA. Tonight was about the team as a whole. And Aaron Gordon playing the best game of his career. Bruce Brown having the best fourth quarter of his entire career. Uh, you know, and then Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, Michael Porter Jr., Contavious Caldwell Pope, and a big three from Jeff Green, all adding on to make sure that the Denver Nuggets take this commanding 3-1 lead. To me, this series is over, but I thought it was over, over before it started. My prediction was a 4-1 win for the Denver Nuggets. I still will stand by that. Uh, I believe that the Nuggets close this out in game five. The Miami Heat are an overachieving team that, uh, you know, they play good down the stretch of games. But ultimately, when they run into a team like the Denver Nuggets that does so many things well that they can't use that zone defense against like they did against the Boston Celtics, uh, they're just going to get dominated. The Miami Heat, uh, I want to briefly touch on them. I, so... I am actually a Boston Celtics fan. I, I, was, I grew up a Boston Celtics fan, I should say. And I didn't really watch them this postseason. But the fact that Max Struess was like all-time great against the Boston Celtics and then against the, uh, against the Denver Nuggets, tonight was 0-4 with zero points. And Gabe Vincent was 1-6. of six. 
I mean, you have guys that were just dominating the Celtics that are now look like low quality players. And that's a lot of credit to the Denver Nuggets and their defensive approach. But it's also just that talent coming back to earth. For whatever reason, the Miami Heat play at such a higher level against the Boston Celtics than they do against any other team. Jimmy Butler, we kind of got to have a conversation because all these people were telling me that Jimmy Butler uh, is a top five player in the NBA. That is there anyone you'd rather have in the playoffs than Jimmy Butler? Well, every single time that we start to say that, he kind of crashes back down to earth. And in the finals uh, against the Lakers in the bubble, kind of crashed down to earth. In uh, last year against the Boston Celtics, he played good for the first couple games and then started to struggle down the stretch. And this year against the Denver Nuggets, they're doing a number on him. And if you're telling me that Jimmy Butler's that guy, then I need to hold him to the standard that we would every other star. We hold, we held Jason Tatum to that standard last year. We hold a lot of, <laughs> we held uh, LeBron James to a ridiculous final standard for so many years. Jimmy Butler also needs held to that standard. All in all, the Denver Nuggets are just going to win the NBA Finals. They're unbelievable. It's great to watch. I'm pumped for the league. I'm pumped for Nikola Jokic. I'm pumped for Mike Malone, Jamal Murray, uh, Jeff Green, all these guys. Aaron Gordon, they all deserve it. I'm pumped for you Nuggets fans, best fans. Uh, so I've had such great interactions with Nuggets fans. It's fantastic. All in all, we're going to be watching Game 5 on Monday, expecting a Denver Nuggets win, but we will be right here to break it down either way. Don't forget to subscribe. Sabro Galba.